Hey, this is Read Write Exercise, and today I'm going to be running through this sock merchant challenge that's on Hacker Rank. Basically, uh, we're given an array, and based on this array, this array supposedly of sock colors, each number corresponds to a color, and we need to count how many pairs of each, how many pairs are totally in this array that we're given. So one and one, two and two, and this one would have two pairs, okay? So we wanna discard the extras, and all we care about is the pairs because this guy John is selling pairs of socks. So we know the constraints are that the number of pairs, uh, the number of items in this array is gonna be less than 101 and more than zero. And so we, not, we know we're not gonna get a giant array here. Now, there are a couple of different implementations we could use. Uh, one would be to basically make a map of socks total and then just increment the sock color count on each item. So it would be like um, socks by color equals this thing. And then we'll basically do like socks array Essentially, we'll do a for each. This is pseudocode here. Um, and then for each one, we will check if it exists already. So we'll check if socks by color exists at this item. So this item is going to be the quote unquote sock color, which will be the number. So we'll check if it exists. And if it does, then we're gonna increment it. Uh, actually, we're gonna check if it does not exist. If it does not exist, then we'll set it. And we'll actually set it to zero. And this will make it easier for us to then just increment from there. Okay, so we'll increment every time. And we'll basically come up with this object that um, socks by color that counts all socks no matter what. And then from there, we can calculate uh, how many pairs are in each color. The alternate approach would be to only count pairs from the start. Uh, but let's run through this approach for now. So we'll do this for each. And actually what we can do is we can use reduce here. So uh, we'll do, we'll call this socks by color. Then we can get rid of this. And then we can initialize this as that. Since we're using reduce now, and then here we'll have, and this will be the sock color. So we'll check if the sock color exists. If it does not exist, then we'll set it to zero. We'll, we'll initialize it to that. And then we will increment it each time. So this should return us uh, an object that contains all of the socks and the number of times that sock occurs in this total bag of socks we're given, I guess. So should have 10, 20, 30, and 50 as keys. So let's just print this out and see what this gives us. Looks like we've got a syntax error here. Uh, and actually what it might have been is that we're not returning this accumulator. So we have to actually return it in order for it to be adjusted. So it might not have been the naming. It was probably just us returning this nothing here. So let's try this again. And now it's kind of showing this object. So let's actually just only give the output here. So now we have the object that we expected. And now we have that like the total count of socks by color then um, we can reduce this again and just get the pairs. So what we'll do is we'll have 
uh, total pairs num. And then we will reduce this. And this is where we're actually going to get the final count. And so what we'll be doing here is we've got our accumulator again. And we can actually call this count. And then this will be this will be going through. We'll actually be doing object keys on this because we only care about the sock color. So this is going to be again the quote unquote sock color, which will be 10, 20, 30, whatever. And then as we're iterating through this, what we'll do is we will check the socks by color. And then we'll check it on the sock color. Um, and we want to check if, well, actually what we want to do is this will be our sock count. And what we want is pairs. So um, we can do sock count divided by two. And then we'll round down. Okay, so that will give us the pairs of the current color. And then what we'll do is we'll return uh, the count plus pairs count for this color. So this will add the number of pairs for each color as we're iterating through the socks by color object that we've made up here. And then once we do that, then it will go through each one and then it will give us the total number of pairs. So this array, this input that they gave us should have three pairs. So let's see what it gives us now. It gives us three, right. So that's one way to do it. Since we only have a hundred possible max items in the array, and we're doing actually two reduce operations, it's going to be like a little slower than it could be if we just did one iteration through this whole array. But since it's only 100, it's probably not going to be a big deal. But let's look at the other way we can do it uh, in case we were doing like a billion socks. And the other way could be cleaner depending on the way that you look at it. So let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of this second reduce that we're doing here. And then we will declare this total pairs num. This is actually going to go back to a for each. It doesn't have an accumulator anymore. So let's declare our total pairs num is going to start at zero. And then we're going to be adjusting this. So now for each one that we go through, and we don't need an accumulator here. So now for each one that we go through, each sock color, we still want to have, this is going to be like our hash map that we have. And we'll initialize this to an empty object. So now we, as we go through here, we'll basically check, just replace that. We don't need to return an accumulator anymore. And what we'll do is we will be adjusting this total pairs num. And so we'll check if it, if this color is not yet on the hash map, if it's not yet there, then we'll actually set it to one or we can set it to anything as long as it's defined. Uh, and then we will return because we don't want to do anything else there. And then if it is already on our hash map, um, since we're returning, then we don't have to do an else here. If it is already on our hash map, then what we'll want to do is we want to just increment this total pairs num. Because if it's already there and now we've got another instance of it, then we're going to say that, yeah, we've got another pair. And then what we'll just do here is we will just clear out this value. So we can delete that. Uh, and that'll free it up so that next time it'll basically iterate it, it'll initialize it again to one. Okay, so this is another way of doing it. This is actually a lot less code. Um, 
maybe it's more readable, maybe it's not. It just kind of depends on who you are. And let's run this again just to make sure it gives us three, which it does. So two different ways of doing this. Both um, give the same answer, give the right answer. Neither one actually uses the N that comes in, but we use the sock array. And then they both use uh, a map kind of data structure in JavaScript here. We're using an object. And then they return the total number of pairs. So that's the sock merchant problem. Um, let me know if you have any other thoughts about this, any other tips for me or ideas of, of different ways to do this. And uh, otherwise, we will see you in the next video.